This is my model of one of Brunel's timber built viaducts and it's been modelled as a, a scenery spline so you just add the track to it after afterwards after putting it into position and the uh, it comes with a fair bit of depth to it to allow for some quite high uh, viaducts uh, to be um, reproduced and these are the two spline nodes and they're actually set at about minus let's have a look they're set at minus uh, uh, well, get vertex height minus 4.4 meters so you can see they're set a fair way down um, and this is part of the of my South Devon railway layout uh, which eventually one day will be finished and this is going to be the atmospheric railway version of the South Devon railway from 1847 1848. Uh, Brunel built a whole series of uh, timber viaducts. They were much cheaper, of course, much less, uh, much shorter lasting than stone built or iron built viaducts, but they certainly served their purpose and aided impecunious railway companies to get up and running and get some revenue coming in. And this is model QTT2. And I've taken the details from Brian Lewis's excellent book which I would thoroughly recommend to anybody who's interested in the topic. Brunel's Timber Bridges and Viaducts, it retails for uh, 25 but just under £25 and it's worth every penny. It's a superbly researched, illustrated uh, and also with photographs and with diagrams. So really very helpful and I shall be using it as my guide for making similar uh, Brunel style um, viaducts. And you can see here that what I've done is I've added my uh, broad gauge atmospheric railway track uh, first of all without ballast on the viaduct itself and with oops, with grey ballast either side and that's also available from my website the viaduct itself is of course freeware available from ING for trains you just download it and it's all yours use it as whatever you, however you like uh, you can place a single track of standard gauge there but um, it is designed just for single track uh, so it's very early days of um, the South Devon Railway which is, which is why I've designed this so there we are uh, another one of my models um, and uh, so if you like it um, please give me if you like the video if you like the model give me a thumbs up if you want to make a comment or have a question or anything else um, please leave a comment um, give it a thumbs up as well as I say um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel ING for Trains because um, it all helps. It helps to um, um, boost my um, willingness to produce more of these models. So um, that's where it is and that's where you can download it from free of charge.